should call it by its name, Ejdaha. Fate. Fate? Fate? <laughs> so here lies the wisdom of the gods. Destroy all deemed redundant, endless tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. That... that voice! Aestaha. Huh? Kunjun? Morax. It's been a while. Yeah. You're... Aestaha. The very same. During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. It was all I could manage. Forgive me for concealing the truth, Traveler. There were things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ejdaha the Whole, but a fragment. Heaven and Earth. Yin and Yang, opposing forces. You can consider the existence of me and the Ejdaha you see there to be a reflection of such polarities. We are a schism of the will, the will of Ejdaha. So, so there are two Ejdahas? No, it can't be. That's in Possible. When the seal loosened, your power manifested in this world as a child. With this new identity, you were able to vent about the forces that suppressed you. But would anyone listen? Would they even care? That's when it occurred to you. The loosening of the seal constituted an opportunity to strike back. Kidnapping the miners was all in aid of digging to the entrance to the seal itself. Your plan was to launch an attack on both ends, from outside and within, thereby fully destroying the seal. The audacity! Are you insane? If you truly are a part of me, how is it you find yourself standing on the side of the Betrayer? I was another power awakened with the loosening of the seal. Too weak to reincarnate, but strong enough to possess a human body. I was barely conscious. I couldn't remember who I was. Only the past would elicit a reaction from me. But my aim was clear. Find Morax, and aid him in stopping you. 
I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Don't blame yourself. I have changed beyond all recognition. Only when I touched the stone tablet did I truly remember. It's been so long. A secret beyond all comprehension of youthful humanity and ancient dragonkind. Morax, do you want to tell the tale? There would be no harm in it. The decision is yours. <laughs> you haven't changed. Then allow me. Ejdaha was once a friend and ally of the Geo Archon Morax, with a lifespan far exceeding that of mankind. However, that which is derived of the Earth is no more or less than the Earth itself. The memories of rocks do not last long. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion. But as time passes, so these memories fade into obscurity. Erosion is the world's greatest destroyer of memories. Erosion ground Ejdaha's consciousness into oblivion. Slowly, he forgot the face of his old friend, and his memories of defending Liyue Harbor disintegrated. Ejdaha, now incomplete, became irascible, aggressive. What would you expect? It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me! This much is true, which is why you attacked the chasm, why you waged war against Morax. In the beginning, in order to open up new territory and increase production, the citizens of Liyue came to the mountains to mine. Overexploitation caused the ley lines to quake, which brought untold suffering to us. Erosion made us even more savage. No matter how we struggled, we lost the ability to coexist with humanity. We lost all reason. Morax shared with us some of his power to prevent further erosion, but it was futile. Everything returns to dust. It is the natural order, an unstoppable force. And so, we became you. And from your will, I emerged. <sighs> I am your final contract. Witness the promise between Ejdaha and Morax. You can hate me, but you cannot deny me. No! No! I am the remnants of Ejdaha's benevolence, the echo of a contract set in stone. I harbor a willingness to go further, a willingness to coexist peacefully with mankind. No, no! It is I, Ejdaha, forged of elemental crystal, bearer of the weight and memories of the earth, older than the mountains and the oceans that decides. I will not swear allegiance to this insect. Morax is not an insect. A lord over insects is nothing but an insect in turn! You forgot yourself. Nobody held Morax in higher regard than you or I. That which you have forgotten, I hold here in my heart. If you are the memory of the Earth, then I am the memory of coexistence. Of coexistence? with humanity. 
all powers under heaven, rise and fall of land and sea. A star appears within the wild. A sun ascends as bright as... Jade. Hmm. Strange. What... What is this feeling? And all this? You are spent, and I will soon disappear. Before I do, heed these words. In the wilderness, snow falls on a spring day. In an instant, it will melt. Even where it is fleeting and leaves no trace. Even where it will never fall again. No! That isn't true! I don't accept this as fate! Perhaps it isn't, but it remains an inevitable misfortune. 